Hi, my name is Jess. I'm a PhD student at ICRA UWA and I'll be presenting my poster Identifying Active Galactic Nuclei Using Spectral Energy Distribution Fitting and the Redshift 0 to 2 Bolometric AGN Luminosity Function. Uh, all of this work has been done as part of the DEVILS project. DEVILS is a spectroscopic redshift survey on the Anglo-Australian Telescope designed to have a high completeness at a high median redshift. Uh, it's designed to allow us to do group pair and environmental science and is a precursor for Waves Deep, a foremost consortium survey. As part of DEVILS, we have redone the photometry in our three fields and have redone a redshift catalogue in the Cosmos D10 field. Uh, so we have about half a million galaxies in this field. We've passed these half a million galaxies through to our SED fitting code PROSPECT. PROSPECT is flexible in the way a user can define the star formation and metallicity histories. Uh, for this work, we use a skewed normal star formation history and a linear mapping of mass growth to metallicity growth. So here we show on the left examples of the star formation history and on the right the metallicity history. We also use an AGN component for this work. So we use the Fritz and Feltra AGN model, allowing for flexibility in the angle of observation, the bolometric luminosity of the central source and the optical depth of the dusty torus. We define F AGN to be the fraction of flux contributed to the SED by the AGN model between 5 and 20 microns. In this figure here, we show various samplings of the AGN properties uh, in comparison to a no AGN host galaxy. So in blue, we show a blazar-like case where you're viewing your AGN straight through to the central source. Uh, the yellow and pink lines show an edge-on case with varying optical depths of the dust torus. Because we've done this through SED fitting, we can almost also comment on the AGN impact on derived galaxy properties. So we found that due to, due to the degeneracies in fitting the AGN uh, component in your SED, there can be impact in your recovered galaxy properties. We find that there's minimal change in the stellar mass, metallicity and age, but we find that there's a significant impact to the star formation rates. So if you fit an AGN with a SED fitting code that doesn't include an AGN component, you can be overestimating your star formation rates by up to two decks. We've also shown that the AGN identified with Prospect compare really nicely to other methods. So we find that we can recover X-ray selected AGN uh, in good agreement with their X-ray luminosities. We also show that our luminosities agree well with other SED fitting codes designed to get the AGN luminosity and make a lot of simplifications in the host galaxy properties. And we also show that for 51 out of 53 broadline AGN, we can select them as AGN by prospect as well. And because we have uh, AGN luminosities for all of these galaxies, we can then recover the AGN luminosity function out to redshift 2.2. And we find agreement at all these redshifts with compiled X-ray, mid-infrared, and optical bolometric luminosity functions from Hopka Hopkins, Shankar, and Shen. Here I show the redshift 0.5 case, and you can see that for a lot of the luminosity function, we're in good agreement with previous measurements, but we do turn over at the low luminosity end uh, due to incompleteness. Uh, we also are missing uh, AGN with high luminosities due to the very small area of the Devil's D10 cosmos field, uh, only being one and a half square degrees. So in summary, with SED fitting with Prospect, we can use, use it to identify and quantify AGN in good agreement with other methods. Um, when we fit the SEDs of AGN host galaxies, you need to include an AGN component uh, in order to obtain accurate galaxy properties. And using just our SED identified AGN, we can recover the AGN luminosity function in good agreement to previous measurements and the theoretical predictions. If you have any other questions, feel free to email me or reach out to me on Twitter. Thank you.